Have you ever wondered if there's a right way to pick your nose? No, well you're about to find out. Today we're diving into a topic that's as intriguing as it is humorous, the art of nose picking. Oh yes, believe it or not, there's an entire science behind this seemingly simple act. We're about to embark on a journey, a quest to explore the top five ways to pick your nose. So whether you're a seasoned picker or a novice nostril explorer, you'll want to stick around for this. Coming in at number five, we've got the classic thumb and index method. This is the go-to technique for most people. It's the nose picking equivalent of a warm cup of tea on a rainy day or a cozy, well-worn sweater. It's familiar, it's comforting, and it gets the job done. The beauty of the classic thumb and index method lies in its simplicity. There are no fancy tools required, no advanced techniques to master. You have all the necessary equipment right there at the end of your arm. Just extend your arm, bend your thumb and index finger into a kind of makeshift tweezers and voila, you're in business. But let's not get carried away in this wave of nostalgia and forget that there are some very real downsides to this method. For starters, it can be uncomfortable. The nose is a sensitive area, full of nerve endings. A careless poke or prod can result in a surprising amount of discomfort. Moreover, it's not exactly hygienic. Your fingers are constantly touching things, picking up germs and bacteria. When you introduce those germs to the warm, moist environment of your nose, it's like throwing a house party for bacteria. And let's not forget that it's not the most socially acceptable activity. It's the kind of thing that's best done in private, away from prying eyes. On the upside, if you're in a pinch and need to clear your nasal passage, it's a quick and easy solution. It's also a method that's been tried and tested for generations. There's a certain comfort in knowing that you're part of a long line of thumb and index nose pickers stretching back into the mists of time. And there you have it, the classic thumb and index. Traditional, straightforward, but not without its pitfalls. It's a method that has stood the test of time, but as we'll see in the coming scenes, there are other more innovative ways to pick your nose. So stay tuned, because things are about to get interesting. At number four, we present you with the pinky sneak. Now, if you're a fan of finesse, a connoisseur of cunning, or a devotee of discretion, then this method is for you. The pinky sneak, my friends, is the James Bond of nasal excavation. It's the undercover agent, the master of disguise, the stealthy operative in the world of nose picking. Here's how it works. Picture this. You're in a social setting, maybe a fancy cocktail party or a high stakes poker game. Suddenly, you feel an itch in your nasal cavity. You can't just go in there with your thumb and index finger like a barbarian. You need to be subtle. Enter the pinky sneak. It's simple, really. You just casually bring your hand up to your face, as if you're deep in thought. Then, ever so gently, you slide your pinky into your nostril. It's all about the subtlety, the stealth. You're in and out before anyone even notices. But wait! While the pinky sneak is an ingenious method, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. There's a dark side to this method, a side we must address, hygiene. Yes, the pinky sneak is discreet, but it's also potentially a germ fest. You see, your pinky, like all your fingers, is a playground for bacteria. And when you slide that pinky into your nostril, you're inviting those bacteria to a party in your nose. Not the best idea, especially in flu season. So what's the solution? Hand hygiene, my friends. It's as simple as washing your hands thoroughly before and after the pinky sneak. It might not be as cool as the pick itself, but it's definitely essential. Don't let the allure of subtlety make you forget the importance of cleanliness. So if you're going for discretion, the pinky sneak might be your go-to. Just remember to wash those hands. Moving on to number three, it's time for the tissue trick. You've all seen it, and some of you may have even done it. The tissue trick is the nose-picking method of choice for the hygiene conscious among us. It's the clean, tidy, and yes, rather obvious way of dealing with those pesky nose goblins. The process is simple, really. You take a tissue, fold it over your finger, and voila, you've got yourself a makeshift nose picker. It's like a glove for your finger, keeping your digits free from the ickiness while you go about your business. Now the tissue trick lacks the stealth of, say, the pinky sneak. There's no way around it, folks. When you're using a tissue to pick your nose, you're basically announcing to the world, hey, I've got something going on up there and I'm taking care of it. But let's be honest, we've all been there, haven't we? The beauty of the tissue trick is that it's incredibly hygienic. You're not touching your nose directly, reducing the chance of spreading germs. And once you're done, you can just toss the tissue away. No mess, no fuss. 
So if you're the type who prefers cleanliness over stealth, the tissue trick is your best bet. It's not the most subtle approach, but it's arguably the cleanest and definitely the most straightforward. For those who value cleanliness over covert operations, the tissue trick is the way to go. We're getting into the big leagues now. At number two, we have the double barrel. Now brace yourself, chums, because we're stepping into some uncharted territory here. The double barrel method, as the name implies, involves engaging both nostrils at once. Yes, you heard me right. This is not for the faint-hearted. It's a two-handed, full-frontal assault on the nasal cavities. A simultaneous expedition into the twin tunnels of mucus and mystery. The efficiency of this method is, quite frankly, off the charts. It's like hitting the jackpot on a two-armed bandit. Except the payout is in boogers. With twice the fingers, you're covering twice the ground, doubling your chances of a successful extraction. It's a bit like having your cake and eating it too, only in this case, the cake is your nose. But let's be honest here, this method comes with its fair share of potential social stigma. Attempting the double barrel in public is akin to wearing socks with sandals or pouring milk before the cereal. It's seen as a bit of a faux pas. So unless you're a rebel, a trendsetter, or just someone who really doesn't give a hoot about the established norms of nose picking, this method might be best confined to the privacy of your own home, or at least a secluded corner. And let's not forget about the need for dexterity. Operating two fingers in a coordinated manner requires a level of skill that not everyone possesses. So before you go all gung-ho on the double barrel, perhaps a bit of practice is in order. In conclusion, the double barrel is not for everyone. It's a method that requires courage, skill, and a certain disregard for societal norms. But for those brave enough to try, the rewards can be, well, let's just say, plentiful. The double barrel, a method for the bold and the brave, or the oblivious. You decide. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the number one method to pick your nose, the no-pick promise. Ladies and gents, the no-pick promise isn't a technique per se, but a commitment. A vow, if you will, to abstain from the old nasal excavation. It's a commitment to health, hygiene, and the well-being of your nostrils. You see, our noses, like the rest of our bodies, are designed for self-maintenance. Those pesky boogers? They're actually our body's way of trapping dirt, dust, and bacteria to prevent them from going further down our respiratory tract. So, by picking your nose, you're actually interfering with Mother Nature's brilliant design. Now, I know what you're thinking, but it's so satisfying. Sure, it might be, but let's think about the long term here. Regular picking can lead to nosebleeds and even infections. Not to mention it's not exactly a charming sight for those around you. The no-pick promise challenges us to resist the urge, to let our bodies do their thing, and to keep our fingers where they belong, outside our nostrils. It's the ultimate test of willpower, a battle against our own primal urges. But remember, like any good habit, it's not about perfection, it's about progress. So even if you falter, don't fret, just dust yourself off and try again. The no-pick promise, the ultimate nose-picking method for the health-conscious and strong-willed. Well, there you have it folks, the top five ways to pick your nose. We've explored the classic thumb and index, the discreet pinky sneak, the hygienic tissue trick, the daring double barrel, and the no-pick promise. Each method has its own charm and potential snags, from the boldness of the double barrel to the commitment of the no-pick promise. Remember, no matter your method, always aim for hygiene and discretion. Happy picking or not, and catch you in the next video.